Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is usually my singing channel, but since I obviously can't do any singing videos at the moment, I thought I would kind of have like a deep conversation and I don't usually do this with this video. It's not usually all about my life. This video is more about if I can sing, if I can do the songs that I want to do. There's a lot of people out there that are like, and it's not getting to me. I don't care anymore about what people want to say about me, if they hate me, dislike me, if they love me, if they like me. Oh, it's a different story if they're like really good in communications with me. But the people that want to be disrespectful and the people will know who they are. And it's not just the people I've met in the past or that I've recently maybe met or a year ago. Those people are going to know and they're going to say all of this crap on the stupid group that they have. So I really do not care what they all have to say. Not long ago, okay, maybe quite a long ago, about like in December, last year in December, I was pretty happy and getting all right with my life. I had lost so much weight and I know it didn't look like it at the time. Well, a lot of people might have not noticed or maybe they did. I feel like I didn't. I was 105 and I know that a lot of people are going to laugh at that, but that's the lowest I've ever been since I was a child and a teenager. You see, when I was a child and a teenager, I was pretty skinny, but you know, when you're a kid, you like to... um run around and then you kind of get into a teenagers but a lot of people at my age had their license had a car they were allowed to drive without any supervisors they were on the restricted or getting maybe getting onto their full license or maybe they just got the restricted um and at the moment it's kind of i since i've put on so much weight because of all of my depression my mental health well, all of that that I thought that I had, and apparently now I do, because I have ADHD apparently, which if some people don't know what that means, it means with my condition, I fidget too much. I cannot stay still, and there's a lot of people out there that can. Like, if I'm watching a series that I start getting into and it's really, really good, but then I get bored, I have to do something, so I start playing with my phone in that. Um... I'm not particularly quite sure why I'm doing this video, it's just it's been getting to me because there's a lot of people out there that are like me, that struggle with their body, with their food, like depression, mental health, whatever um, mental state they're in. And the only way for me to pull through every day is by saying I can't do this. If I was to say I cannot do this, that would really stuff up my day. Now you see, I do everything mainly the same as every day. Well, I might not eat at the same time or work out at the same time or get up at the same time, but I do everything when I get up. You see, there's this book and it's a self-care book and every day when I wake up, after I make my bed, I have to make my bed because if I don't, I feel like I'm going to have such a bad day and it's going to turn bad. But... If I could think of three positive things that I've always had today, it would be saying hello to you guys on YouTube, doing my Kingdom Hearts videos, probably trying my best of trying to lose my weight again, and of just getting up, just waking up. If it is true with what, I'm not going, I'm not trying to say that it's not true, but I used to have pretty close Christian friends. And they would used to say, oh, God wakes you up. God has a string for everyone and he cuts it when he wants to. And if that is true, I'm not going to say it's not, but it sounds like I am. But if that is true, then that's one thing I'm also grateful for is that he has not cut my cord yet or string, whatever you guys want to call it. Now, every day in my book, I don't usually share this with people, but... It's kind of personal, but it's also changed for the last few months. And, and I tried to look for my photo where I had 105, and I don't think I have it in this book. 
but we'll go to my recent ones and I know that they're all going to sound ridiculous and a lot of people are going to make fun of me but I really do not care if you guys want to keep talking crap about me want to laugh at me then whatever like you guys must be so obsessed with me if you guys want to talk about me so today's one which I've I haven't fully completed yet well I've got one more workout to do and then I'm going to relax for the rest of the day so just the normal things that I'll usually put down is my pills now they're not pills to like keep me healthy I mean to keep me alive they're pills like these I'm very very serious with my um with my weight journey and weight loss with my body um for my liver and these ones here that support the heart and other symptoms this one is meant to give you energy um hair nails and support liver so i've got like three different tablets that are supporting all of my sim all of my um system in my body the second thing is a face cream now I'll, i you i i usually when I used to meet a lot of people, they'd be like, oh my god, like, you have, like, such, like, nice skin, like, such soft skin, like, what do you use? Like, legitly, it's just self-care. It's just a self-care thing. If none of you guys are subscribed to my live channel, and if you go to, like, my, my birthday blogs, you'll see that I have a, a skin condition, like, oh, sorry, not a skin condition, a scream, a skin cream that will show you but it's but you get them you can get them in like a few different kinds of ones like there's a morning one there's a night one which I am using my night one I do have a night one and I do have a morning one but I don't want to I'm not using it until I finish my my other cream um I have spray and deodorant because you know you gotta smell good before like when you wake up eh my eye drops because a lot of people might not know this but I have cataracts and I feel like that if my eyes have a little bit more support like it's not going to heal my cataracts surgery is what's going to heal my cataracts but if, if I feel like that if I have a little bit of support because sometimes I go blurry even when I'm wearing my glasses I go blurry and I just feel like if I have a little bit more support then my eyes will be a little bit better not fully healed but a little bit better um, the second one, because I'm probably going to get judged for this one, I didn't usually do a lot and now since I'm getting a bit older, I'm almost 25 years old and I need to like, like not perfectly, I was about to say perfectly, but like just get me into routines so then I understand and then I know what's going on because I only understand a little bit of this and the more I keep writing it down, the more I keep saying it to myself, I know I'm going to get there. So, washing my hands all day. Now, when I was little, I never used to do that. I would only sometimes do it if I, like, had a crab, <laughs> which is a poo. So, I'm probably going to get judged by that a lot. I used to use sanitizer all the time because I just felt like that that was better. And, to be honest, I think sanitizer is a little bit more better than hands but I know that you can get like special hand soap and all that and don't get me wrong I use that too but it's just a routine that I have like I have these little notes around the house going don't forget to do this Sophie like like yeah just don't forget to do this like when you're in the toilet don't forget to go wash your hands like like if you've like before you clean uh sorry before you touch food, wash your hands. Like, little simple things like that. Like, I used to do that in the past. I would, like, wash my hands before I touched food. But then I got out of the routine where I just never worried. And I just always used hand sanitizer. I can't remember when I started. It might have been when I was at, like, my first job at KFC. But I didn't. So, everyone's going to judge me on that one. Um, the other one already said is make bed. Um, I write eat and water water and eat so like what that means to me is just eating something I feel comfortable with eating not eating something that someone should tell me to eat like I used to have all these conversations with my sister with my friends and 
probably just them going, oh, like, you should put more and more of this in, like, just with whatever diet you're on, or, like, you should stop doing this, or you should stop doing that, and it's like, I know that you guys are helping me, but it's my life, and I need to do what is best for me. So, at the moment, I've been having wraps with lettuce, tomato, carrot, chicken, bacon, and onion, which I know I should cut out the bacon, but it's too good. Like, I have no excuse for, like, and then I have my whole... And then I have my sauces on top, like mayo and aioli. I used to have barbecue, but I don't know why I don't have that anymore. So, like, things like that. And then the teas, because I have early teas usually, so I'm usually working out when people would be eating, or people could be working. And for teas, I would just, like, how I used to make my pasta stuff, so if you guys aren't subscribed to that, um, my live channel, you can go and there's about a lunch and teas like these bits and pieces like that or if there's like a certain meat like I have a chop with mashed potatoes and peas uh, well vegetables whichever vegetables they are and then I'll have like a different meat with mashed potatoes and vegetables but then I'd like to switch it up last week I had devil and curry with mashed potatoes and then I changed it and I had rice with the devil and curry so I do switch it up I don't always just have the same thing all the time but sometimes if I'm like doing the exact same thing and it's, it's what I want to have then it's what I want to have like I used to on my last diet that I was on which was before I after I moved back to Invercargill I was like on noodles vegetables um, meat, bacon and onion, like all of those things plus the wraps. I did make my salads and it still helped me lose weight. I don't know how, I don't know what did it. I would love to know so I can get back into it but I'm trying to get back into it. So yeah, I have my workouts times too. My showers Monday to Saturday because I like to have my Sundays off so that's why if you guys don't see me YouTubing on my live channel then that's why. And brushing my teeth and my hair which feels like it's the most important thing so those are the most ones that I write down <laughs> there's, there's usually different ones like writing my goals book which is what I would be doing like things like that like things like I can do it I'm confident like there's a lot of things I know that I'm still learning and before I even settle down and to have my kids well if I even do have kids I know that a lot of people will be like <laughs> Like, she's going to, like, she'll be the first. I don't care. If you guys want to do that, I do not care. But I do not want it on my channels. If that's what you guys want to be like, then legitly piss off. I do not care about my bad subscribers. I only care about my good subscribers and that want to watch this, want to have confidence, want to be like, oh, like, she's doing well. Like, I love it how I get all these messages going, oh, like, oh like it's all right like it's gonna be okay like that's what's keep me going that's my strength is when people is gonna be like including myself when I go that is okay you're gonna be fine today is a day is a new day I live every day like it's my last because I never know when I'm not gonna wake up it's not like I'm gonna murder myself but some people might think that but what I mean is that I live every day like it's my last because I never know if I'm gonna be awake in a week a year, a month, blah, 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 my foot has gone to sleep. And this is why it's also complicated for me to talk about this because it's going to be on the internet for the rest of the life. People can believe me or they cannot believe me. And that's fine. If you want to be on that side, then that's the side I'm not going to, you know, agree with. When I used to be in counselling, and this is probably one of the things I have kept from my counsellor, is that everyone, well, not everyone, but me, personally me, have two sides. So I have a good side and a bad side. So the bad side will be all the alcohol, the McDonald's, like everything that is all bad for me. Because if, if some of you guys don't know, I have gallbladder problems, I'm waiting for surgery. But if you do know, then you know the situation. Or if you've had it before and you knew the situation, or if you're still waiting like me, or if there's anything that you're waiting for to get surgery and you're still waiting like you're just well you're not just like me but you're sim similar and my good side is me working out trying to get up a bit earlier because I am because every time when I put on because for the last two days I wanted to wake up between six and seven and because I get up all the time at night time for the bathroom and I'm not and I know I'm not going to be the only one that that, that gets up <laughs> 
but lately because I hate it when I'm like when I had to get up like I hated it for work because I wanted to sleep and I wanted to sleep because I love my sleep I think sleeping is the most one of the most important things that everyone should like get like if you don't sleep at all then that's fine like that's your choice I'm not judging but for me sleeping is the most important thing for me I just feel like that if a lot of people understood me, understood my story, what's truthful, what's not, well I don't want to lie to anyone, I'm, I'm done. I used to do that a lot, I used to be the bad person that would laugh at everyone, I used to be the bully and then now I'm the one that's trying to be innocent, not trying to start anything but when people want to let me down I'm really not going to put up with it anymore. I really do not care anymore. All I care about is getting myself back to the stage I used to be, which was 105. And there's a few people that I care about, and hopefully they know who they are. But if not, they're, they're in this house. There's some people that I care about in Invercargill, and I hopefully that they know who they are. I'm just not sure if they are subscribed to me, which is okay because no one's gonna want to see this face all the time. But yeah, I guess that's kind of today's video. It's something very personal and very deep that I'm not sure I've ever talked about before. Because I remember I did a video about how people like to um, make fun of people because they're like skinnier or they're fatter, like. I'm not going to use those words against anyone. Like, if you're skinny and you are perfectly happy in your life, like, I'm happy, like, that you're happy. If you think that you're fat, miserable, an ugly piece of fucking shit, like, and if you want to become along with my journey, like, I know that I'm not the size that I want to be. But that doesn't mean that I'm going to stop. That means I'm going to keep trying. I'm going to keep doing what I do. And if I keep eating good meals a day, drinking a lot of water, doing my exercise, then I know I'm going to get where I want. And it's going to take a lot of time because I used to lose about 10 pounds every month from when I started working out last year before Christmas. And I felt great until it kind of slipped. Because when it came to Christmas, I took a week off and I was drinking. I was eating bad, like chocolates. Mainly probably chocolates. Um, but now I've gotten to the point in my life where I'm like, I need to stop this. If I want like McDonald's or a good treat, I need to make sure that my body's going to be okay with it. But more than that, like if everything on my body is going to be okay. Like, I don't want to put something in my mouth that is going to affect something in my body. Like, the pelvis, the liver, like, anything. My gallbladder, my lungs, my brain, like, anything. I want to make sure that if I have a treat, it's for a good reason, I've worked my ass off, and I'm okay, and I'm actually... Hopefully we'll say to myself, you've deserved this, you've worked so hard. But until then, I'm not in that place anymore. I'm in a place where I'm like, hey, I'm halfway there and hopefully soon I can have a treat. Because I did have a little treat before. I went to Kmart before and I had like these little pizza slice lolly things. You can all judge me all you want, but I was a bit hungry and I had a little bit of time to eat before 5 o'clock came because I, I had tea at 4, but I, then I had a little tiny snack. But I'm not worried because I'm like, I haven't had them in ages and why not? I'm, I'm going to burn it off all, all at 7 o'clock. So that's how I have to feel and I felt pretty great. I was walking around and it was like, hey, it wouldn't be so bad if that happened, but I I need to make sure that I'm like that all the time because I'm usually not. If I see something that I want, like chips are usually my enemy. Like I'm weak when it comes to chips, like certain chips, of course, but anything like lollies and chocolates, I don't eat all the time because I just feel like it's my line being cut. But uh, yeah, anyway, I was going to say my goodbyes before before I started but if there's anyone out there that wants help that wants to be a part of this journey with me because I'm starting another journey where 
I'm wanting to lose all of this weight and I know for a fact that I can it's going to take so much time it's going to probably take a year but I know that I can lose weight every single month and I know that if I do it I'm going to be the better person of myself not perfect because I'm not perfect if I was perfect I would be normal like there's an episode of Spongebob and like hi being normal like that is perfect like being stupid and dumb but I'm glad I'm not like that like I know I'm sometimes stupid and dumb but I guess if I didn't have a car have a license like like had jobs in the past like I probably wouldn't be that stupid or dumb but there are things where I am but if there's anyone on that journey where, where you're like hey I want to come with you like I wouldn't mind starting healthy journey videos with you guys like if it comes to it and I can't do any more singing then I'll make this channel my health channel and see how that goes like it is kind of more of a life as well but if anyone needs anyone because I'm always going to be there for people even if I don't know you even if you guys hate me like whatever I'm still going to be that person that's going to be like okay if you want to say shit about me go ahead I do not care but if you're that person that's like I really need help and I'm too scared to talk to anyone and you legitimately want to talk to someone that is in your situation with what she eats, how her body feels, like how she feels every day, then I am legitimately the person to talk to because I don't mind helping people as long as I get help myself, which I'm trying to. I'm trying to get back into counselling, which is the number one thing I know that I have to do. <clears throat> Sorry, trying to speak and not swallow is a bit hard for me. Um, but yeah, if there's anyone out there and you're scared, like you just want help and you just want to feel better about yourself, I'm legitly a person, like one of those persons. Not the perfect person, but I am one of them. And like, who knows? Maybe I could change someone's life one day. Like, I'm trying to change mine. I'm trying to be better. I'm trying to make sure that I'm going to be, you know, doing this for until I have kids and then who knows I might will continue after I have kids like because I'm I'm almost halfway through 50 guys like when I turn 25 this year I'm 25 years into 50 like almost 50 like um, but yeah I know that a lot of people out there aren't really confident in talking about the stuff like there's more stuff that I do want to talk about and I won't get upset because it's in the past and it's all stupid well not not all that stupid but I just wanted to start slow and then maybe when I feel more confident I might start talking about some stuff that probably a lot of people are really going to think I'm lying about, I'm just saying it for attention, like and whatever, like they can think that but I know at the end of the day what's happened in my past and all I can say is that if I, if I keep doing what I'm doing now I could be happy in a few months at the end of the year, who knows. But I probably should say goodbye because it's almost been 23 minutes. So, but yeah, last time, if you guys need someone that you're too scared to talk to and you just want someone to listen, like you talk and I listen, I like, I'm, I'm that person. But even if you don't know me and you want to make friends, like I want to be in the all right group of people, of friends, because I haven't had that legitly properly I've never had that before it's always been bad and I just want to have that one person that I could have again but yeah if you guys like this and if you guys do want me to do like a healthy journal a healthy journey thing with this YouTube channel I'll be happy to change it up because it would be something different and I would love to give it a try but I want to know your thoughts if you guys want me to. Don't worry, I'll still be playing Kingdom Hearts. It's just, I'll be like playing Kingdom Hearts and then working out and then, yeah. But yeah, um, I'm going to go. If you guys want to, you can like, subscribe, share, comment, turn on that notification bell if you don't want to miss any videos coming up. I do want to try doing another, another singing video. I just feel like it's going to get blocked. So I might have to like stop that for at the moment, but... Yeah, I hope you all have a good Tuesday and 
I really hope that this message or this little speech, whatever you guys want to call it, has gone to someone and has been like, hey, like, I actually do want to talk to someone and Sophie does seem like a good person. Like, I'm going to be here. You just message me on YouTube and who knows, one day you could be sitting right beside me doing a YouTube video. So, yeah, I'm going to go. Don't forget to subscribe to my other YouTube channel if you haven't. But, yeah, I love you all. And I guess, yeah, have a good night. Peace. Bye.